Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. If you thought one guaranteed team in season pack was enough, think again. Today is Wednesday, which looks like the day each week we are going to be getting the guaranteed team of the season SBCs for the main League of Tots that is in packs. Of course, that means a big chance at packing a Premier League Tots card today from an SBC. But what does that mean for the market fodder prices and also those Prem team of the season card prices that we're going to be watching very, very closely today. So we're going to have to take a look at that because that is one of the most hyped SBCs of the Premier League Tots week. And it's coming today. We also have to take a look at what's coming on Friday with Bundesliga team of the season and the first few leagues for cards coming out during that set of TOTS cards. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's SBC content as we always do. Guys, EA did the business yesterday. Monday was mid. Tuesday was great. We got the upgrade SBCs, man. EA... They heard our disappointment. They heard our frustration. Okay, who knows? W were they always intending to drop this on a Tuesday? I don't know. But it's actually here now, and that's the best part. These premium Premier League and Women's Super League upgrade packs, the same ones that were out during Team of the Year, the ones that we wanted, they are finally here. And you know what? I've actually heard some decent stories of people packing blues from these. Now, of course, a lot of the fodder blues, right? But hey, it's still a good chance at packing from an upgrade pack those Premier League team of the season cards and of course you're getting decent fodder along with it now a lot of questions what's the best craft well, you need 11 rares for this once you do this SBC where are you putting those commons and the rares that you get back I'm putting the rares back into the premium Premier League and women's super league upgrade the commons I've been putting into these 81 plus player picks to give me a chance at packing the other league of team of the season the mixed league cards and of course getting good fodder you could also go into the 77 plus double if you wanted another chance at strictly the premier league or women's super league card so you could go ahead and do that and uh yeah that's basically what i'm doing with the craft a lot of people are also asking nate where do i get the gold rares now personally with my coin balance i'm buying the rares because it's very very worth your coins to have a chance at packing these blues to get the fodder back but you can also get rares through exchanges let's say you're doing the 81 plus player pick Let's say you hit an 88 rated card and you're not doing an SBC. You're not getting a lot of rares back. You're getting eight rares from that pack. Or maybe from an 89 overall dupe, you're getting 14 rares. It's not that many, but it helps. And then, of course, always the objective packs and the other packs from, you know, rewards and stuff like that are very helpful for getting those rares. But personally, if you take a look at my unassigned right now, I've started buying some gold rares. There's 650 coins on the market on bid. So be careful with your coins, of course. But you might as well go out and bid on some of those and try to get some gold rares in the club. If you're going to send a set of those packs, I think buying the gold rares is fine because it, it takes... Uh, those gold rares, what you're paying for each SBC, which is basically 7,000 coins to do one of these premium upgrades, it goes a long way with the player picks you get out of it and the other SBCs that you can craft. So I think it's worth spending coins on. Just be careful with how many coins you spend, of course, because you're making those tradable coins turning into untradable cards. So that's kind of the upgrade crafting grind. Now we had an upgrade pack yesterday, a first of two, which seems to be kind of the new schedule for the TOTS guaranteed packs. We said at the end of the video yesterday that we might have a guaranteed TOTS pack yesterday on Tuesday, and it actually happened. It's just different than what we have originally seen in the past few years. Yesterday before content, we had a new pack added to the code, and it's called the Weekly TOTS upgrade it was an 83 rated squad and then also an 86 rated squad with a team of the season in inside of it required and that pack was basically every team of the season card that was released up until now was packable from that sbc right it was a tots live or any of the tots tots moments or tots plus players that are currently released in ultimate team and i think that's going to be the upgrade pack that we get every single Tuesday, right? Because it would include the new mixed league cards like next week for Bundesliga. It would have the Bundesliga, the front Bundesliga cards, the women, and it would have mixed league TOTS team number two. So this, of course, with the name weekly TOTS upgrade, it implies that we'll see it every single week. It expires on Tuesday next week, which when I would assume it would return with the Bundesliga stuff and the second team of mixed league TOTS included. So that's kind of our new Tuesday gamble Instead of getting the 88 plus campaign, we get that now, which it's worth crafting, guys. It really is. I know it seems a little bit expensive when you look at the price of the SBC, 68K. You have to turn in a TOTS card, of course, 
but it is very, very craftable, and it's a chance at something, right? It's a guaranteed TOTS pack. I think all the guaranteed TOTS packs are worth doing, especially when they're, you know, just the average price like that. They are worth doing for the what if, for the chance that you get something sick. So I would go ahead and craft that one. I did it straight away yesterday, along with, of course, the 84 sevens, the 83 seven. And still, guys, do not sleep on this 85 plus player pick. It is the real deal. Now, what we were not expecting yesterday was this. Juan Basaka flashback SBC. There was a leak before content that we were going to get a Manchester United flashback SBC. I was hoping for Christian Eriksen. He's had a couple of nice tots cards in the past. It was Juan Basaka instead. Now, the interesting thing with this SBC is it is yet again another center back. I think a lot of people are doing this and playing this card at CB. He's a lot different of a center back, though, than maybe Saliba or Konate. He is more what would I say? Like he's a, a faster player moving side to side. He's got jockey plus he's six foot only. He's controlled and he's got pretty high agility and balance. 88 agility, 80 balance is not that high, but higher than some of the other cards that we have at center back. Right. And he's, he's more of a shorter and less like beefy or like beast of a center back and more of just kind of a faster getting to the ball quick making the tackle his play styles look great he still has aerial and power header he even has whipped pass plus because he is a right back right but you can also play him at center back which is where i think a lot of the hype is for this sbc now it's the question is like would you rather do this or konate and man i'm gonna say it i am not a fan of konate just being completely honest i am not a fan of that card i don't know what it is it might be a skill issue I just do not like that card. He seems just too slow for me, and just his animations are weird. Maybe I'll do this Juan Basaka. I might pass on it, though. I'm working on Odegaard at the moment, and I'm other, I'm happy with my other center backs that I have. People seem to like this card, but they don't like the price. 460k, I don't think is really that overpriced. I think it's an okay value for the craft. He's only 35% upvoted, but I just have to wonder how much would this be upvoted if we didn't have Konate, who a lot of people just did and are seeing as a better card, right? He was 84% upvoted, even though he's more expensive, 84% upvoted. So that's one of the things I'm thinking about with this Juan Basaka. I don't know if I'm going to do it since I already did Konate, even though I'm not that impressed with that card. I think Wambasaka could be good. Just kind of depends on what you like. Do you like a smaller, more agile center back, or do you like somebody like Konate, who is bigger and uh, not kind of let... He's basically like a wall, right? Kind of like Bissek. Now, the other thing that we had yesterday was an evolution, guys. We got to talk about this Evo, and it has to do with a TOTS upgrade. And it's not the Evo that was leaked, like a midfield upgrade. We still have that Evo that is outstanding that has not come yet. But we have this TOTS upgrade series one, which in the little description, it says boosted team of the season player in the first of more upgrade evos to come. So there's more of these that are coming, but there's also more tots cards coming. The best thing about this evolution, guys, is that Julian Alvarez, who a lot of us did as an SBC, fits into it. It's plus one. It's like an inform upgrade. Plus ones across every stat. You get plus two passing and plus two dribbling, which is going to make this already cracked at dribbling Alvarez card even better. There's no play styles that are added. There's no weak foot or skill move boost. It is a free evo for a simple plus one boost in the card. If you have Alvarez and you're enjoying the card, I would say do this evo. But other than that, I think I would wait to maybe get this one done, guys, because it's out for 20 days. But of course, the overall requirements, max 93, max 94 pace and 91 physical. And it, the best part about this is it doesn't turn your card into some other evolution design in the end. It stays the team of the season card design. It just changes the rating, which I'm actually a huge fan of. I know it maybe will confuse people and differentiate, right? You'll have a 94 Watkins or a 93 Alvarez. Like what? How do you get that? Well, it's just an evolved version. But I like that car design, of course, better than the regular Evo design. This one might be worth waiting on, unless there's somebody in here that you really want to get done. Because right now there's only, what is that, 11 cards that fit this evolution. This will be out during Bundesliga team of the season and actually even into League One team of the season at the very start. So there will be a lot more cards that will fit this. But on the flip side as well, again, you read the description and says there are more upgrade Evos to come. This is literally called TOTS Upgrade Series 1. So you'd imagine there'd be a 2, maybe a 3, maybe a 4, who knows? So kind of just do whatever you want. If, if there's a card you like, like Alvarez, you're like, boom, I'm putting that in. Maybe it's McAllister, maybe it's Douglas Louise, maybe even Ben White. All those cards look decent inside of this. If it's a card you're going to use, Evo it. If you're not so sure about it, then maybe wait and see what else comes out that you might like better or wait for another upgrade Evo before you absolutely go 
and decide. So that's kind of yesterday's content on this game. It was a good day. The upgrade SBCs really, for me, made the menus a lot more hype. Literally yesterday with the content that we had, I was able to craft four of the five squads of Odegaard. So we're almost done with that card. And yeah, we're just going to hit some more of these Premier League uh, SBCs today and hopefully pack a real blue. Guys, the counter keeps going up, but the cards that I am packing are absolutely shocking. Allison is still my highest rated and best team of the season card that I have packed so far out of all 34 team of the seasons. It's been shocking. Even spending 1.5 million coins on two of the 750k packs, it's bad out here. So hopefully the weekend league rewards that we get today and open on stream and also the guaranteed Tots pack along with all the upgrades we'll be hitting, hopefully our luck finally turns around. Now we already mentioned it. Let's talk about Premier League Tots and the upgrade guys because we've been watching these card prices very closely and a lot of these are down look at cold palmer 1.1 mil suns 1.15 foden is 20k cheaper than what i bought him for he's under 2.1 declan rice is down a lot of the tops cards are low and i think that might change a little bit after we get this sbc today now again the sbc is the guaranteed tots Premier League upgrade pack. There's no Women's Super League in this. There is no Mick to League Team 1. This is only an upgrade pack that gives out these cards right here. Only the men's Premier League Tots cards are packable from this. Now, we all know who's going to be very common in this, right? You're going to see tons of Ben White, Allison, Gabrielle, Estupinan, and such. But there will be plenty of those today that get something better. Saliba, Foden, Sun, Palmer. Those top tier cards, this is like your best chance of packing one of those high tier, high ticket players from the Premier League team of the season. It is coming today, right? That's kind of the schedule that we've been expecting. And especially after last week, the Live Tots upgrade came out on Wednesday. We're expecting this today. Now, the real question is, how much is it going to cost to do this SBC? I think EA actually gave us a little bit of a look in on how they might be requiring things because of the weekly TOTS upgrade that dropped yesterday. It was an 83 and 86 with a team of the season or a team of the week. If we actually take a look back to FIFA 23 as well for some more guidance, the Premier League TOTS upgrade cost 149,000 coins last year, and it required an 85 and an 87 rated squad with the team of the season. With how cheap fodder is right now on this game, I would not be surprised, and it's going to sound crazy, but I would not be surprised if we have like an 89 rated or 88 rated or an 89 rated squad requirement inside of a Prem guaranteed tops SBC. For real, like actually we could have an 88, maybe it's an 87 and an 88, maybe it's an 86 and an 89. I think there's going to be at least an 88 rated squad inside of a tots guaranteed also requiring a team of the season card today. So Prepare yourself for about 150 to 200,000 coins worth of fodder you're going to have to turn in. And again, if you're thinking about a 200,000 coin SBC, you're in the realm of 89 rated squads. I think they might do two squads. That's what they did last year. Um, that's what they did just yesterday with the weekly TOTS upgrade. And there's a lot of pretty expensive Premier League TOTS cards out there. And there's also a lot of fodder that is dirt cheap with the prices that we have for fodder in this game. So if you need a little bit of fodder, maybe you go ahead and do a bit of a club stock. Just buy what you think you might need for this SBC. It'll probably rise a little bit today after rewards just because people are going to be investing and preparing for that fodder so that they can do the Prem Tots because this is like no joke. This is the SBC. If you're going to do any SBC during Prem Tots, people know this as well. This is the SBC to do because like no other way are you getting a chance at packing a big time Prem Tots. Now, to be honest, we know it's not going to be great for everybody, but this is your best chance. So everybody's going to be doing this today. One thing I will shout is maybe you take a look at some of your team of the season cards that are the cheapest on the market. I'm not saying they're going to go up a lot today. Maybe the 90 rated ones are the best shout because those are the ones that could actually move. What are the cheap cheapest team of the seasons right now on the market? Cheapest Tots cards on this game, 19K. They actually are rising. If I were to invest in any of these i would try to buy 90 rated tots cards if any of them pop up on snipe uh for like 20k i think right here you can see bonza estupinan and dewsbury hall are like some of the cheapest 90 rated cards i think if you were gonna invest in anything like that today you might be able to buy one or two of those for like 20k and you might see these cards rise up one to two to three thousand coins on the market today I wouldn't think it'd be too much crazier than that unless there's like an 89 or a 90 rated squad requirement. Uh, but a lot of people have a team of the season in their club. But again, this is an SBC that'll have so much hype. Those might lazy sell 
decent today just as people are going to be going and buying those more than they would have been in previous days because of this SB. See, now, of course, what we also have been talking about in the past couple of days is what this is going to do to the rest of the market. Everybody's going to see this pack is out and they're going to say, oh, my goodness, this is my chance to pack the card that I want. But if I don't get that Tots card that I want, what am I going to go and do? Oh, boy, it's over. I'm going to have to go and buy the card, right? Because as of now, most people have opened their saved up packs. They've maybe opened a store pack that they were going to want to open as well, like a 750K with money or with uh, coins in game. You've probably exasperated your resources to try to pack as many of these cards as you can. And this is kind of like the last ditch effort for a lot of people. That is why I think some of these cards could be going up today. And I actually did put some money into a couple cards, but prices are low. Like you maybe you look at these prices yesterday and notice they are low on most cards. Saliba's 520, Declan Rice is 1.24, Foden's 2 mil, Cole Palmer was 1.2 mil all yesterday, and now he's 1.1, like 1.1 mil. And this is one of the most hyped cards in the Premier League team of the season. I think there will be a good opportunity. I think my now might be a really good opportunity to pick up these cards at these lower prices. The real thing I'm not 100% sure about is how high do they go? Do they really go up a bunch or do they just kind of rise a little bit and then like stay stagnant, right? Like I picked up a Foden yesterday and I picked up a Declan Rice. So I'm invested here um, on some of these Premier League Tots cards because I think there will be some positive market movement today. Am I 100% confident that it's going to be a huge rise and that coins are going to be made super duper easily? No, because at the same time, you know, there's going to be supply today. There's going to be packs that will be open. And of course, these cards, they have a decent pack weight. And a lot of people, every single day that we go further on, are packing these cards untradeable. But when you think about the coins that are going to be given out today through Weekend League Rewards packs that people will be opening at the very end, you know, the guaranteed TOTS upgrade, I do think there's a potential for these cards to rise into the evening time later on tonight as people do their their prem tots pack don't get who they want go out to the market and buy the cards that they then do want because again guys you look at this promo team it is very hype there are some really insane cards here um so i'm a 50 50 on whether it's going to be a, a good investment or whether it's just going to be like okay the cards will move up a little bit or stay stagnant in price we'll have to see because there is a lot of demand but really i just don't know if it's going to outweigh the supply so i wanted to get involved and i wanted to buy a couple things just in case it goes up a lot if it doesn't i still think now might be a good time even if it's just to buy something for your team that you're like nate i want to buy cole palmer i want to buy declan rice i want to buy saliva for my weekend league team When's the best time to buy? I think now is a decent time to buy. I think you're near the low point, especially if you head into this weekend. I'm not saying all these cards are going to explode out of packs. I actually wouldn't expect them to explode. I think they could go up a little bit, uh, but it all depends on how the Bundesliga team of the season cards are looked, looking stat-wise and juiced-wise. So... If there's a card you want for your team, though, this is like have the fun that you want to have, right? Get a card. If you've been grinding this week, you haven't packed the card you want, but you got the coins to snag it. Go ahead and just buy that card. Enjoy the item. Enjoy the gameplay as much as you can uh, with one of these TOTS cards and just buy the card. So like kind of let the fun trump the worrying about the coins too much because you're not going to like lose 50% or even like 20% on any of these Todd's cards. I don't think if you hold between now and basically Saturday or Sunday, um, I don't think it's going to be like last year where the Prem Todd's cards got destroyed in price. I really don't because these cards are um, at a way better value than uh, where those were last year because these cards are actually juiced and their stats are great. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So do what you want to do with that. But that's why I invested in a couple because I think there could be some rises today. I tried to pick two rare cards that I think a lot of people really want and that are pretty hard to pack. Declan Rice and Foden specifically. Foden, very difficult to pack, but also very, very good in game. Now, let's take a look at the other big news that is floating around. We already mentioned Bundesliga Tots. I've already started to invest in some Bundesliga specials. Let's go through some of the leaks, guys, because we had the first of the leaks dropped yesterday on this game. I think there's going to be more today. First of all, Harry Kane, team of the season. He's headlining the attack. If he gets finesse shot, that would be unbelievable. I really just hope for a Harry Kane Tots card that is really good statistically that has a weak foot and a skill move boost and 
uh, is cheap because that Prem Tots Harry Kane last year was insane. It literally broke the game. I really hope that that is going to be a really good card again this year. I would love to use a Harry Kane team this season that is meta. We have Verts as one of the many Leverkusen cards that's going to be coming in this promo. Florian Verts is one of our midfielders. It's actually really interesting. We have three, I'm guessing the three starting midfielders leaks, leaked. And I think there's one big name missing, but Verts is coming. His Tots card last year was crazy. This could be a really fun one as well. Another striker is Gurasi, definitely deserved from Stuttgart. Um, I was wondering if he would get in or if Boniface would get in. So looks like Gurasi is getting in. Maybe Boniface still will. Really unknown there. And we have Javi Simons. This is one of the midfielders that I was unsure whether he was going to get in or not. But since this is 100% a vote, guys, remember... This is a vote, so the community weighed in on this. We'll have to see how much this team looks different from like deserved versus hype and just meta cards people maybe would have voted for to see in this game. But Javi Simons is getting a team of the season card. Now to move on to a few more names, Adiemi was our first leaked Tots Moments card. So probably a little bit lower rated, right? Kind of like the Tots Moments are. Um, not all of them, but like Garnacho 92 and Kunku 92. So somewhat lower rated than maybe a regular team of the season card for Adiemi. But that card's going to be absolutely insane. His Winter Wild cards was so popular earlier on. This one is one that surprised me, guys. Because Danielle Malin does not come out of the attacker's vote. He comes out of the midfielder's vote in this Bundesliga team of the season. He is going to be nuts. A real team of the season, not a moments, right? So that means he was voted in to the midfield. So we have Verts, we have Malin, and we have Javi Simons as the three leaked midfielders. Where's Musiala? He still could be in. He's not leaked yet, but where is Musiala? I feel like a lot of people would have voted, would have voted for him. This card could be absolutely insane, though. So that one is one that a lot of us are looking forward to. There's a double down on the Garassi leak uh, for him there. And then we just had another one leaked a little bit ago. Moments Upamecano. That could be a really sick center back card. Very meta in game. He's had the fire. He's had the ice versions this year that a lot of people have loved. And uh, this could be a great card as well. I think there's maybe one or two more leaked players. Um, I think Grimaldo and Frimpong have also been leaked. There might be more posts about who has been leaked today on Thursday for sure, because right now it feels like we have a partial leak of the team. We're definitely going to be finding out some more players today and maybe even tomorrow on Thursday. But today for sure on Wednesday, I think we'll get some more names. Other things to quickly touch on, we had some of that Bundesliga pack code added as EA prepare for the promo this weekend. You thought that the uh, double team of the season pack for Premier League was crazy, right? We have a Bundesliga trio tots guaranteed. Guys, it's an 84 times 60. Let me say that again. It's an 84 times 60 with one guaranteed 90 or higher and three guaranteed Bundesliga team of the season player items. That is going to be a pack in the store this weekend. That one's going to be crazy. We also have one here that is, um, uh, that's just regular cards guaranteed no bundesliga tots guaranteed there this one bundesliga tots guarantee is an 83 35 5 88 pluses and one player item guaranteed and then also the 77 double which it looks like we're going to see every single week for each league of team of the season and we also had an 84 times 5 rare bundesliga or Fran bundesliga upgrade pack so we had the 83 7 for premier league we're upping the rating to 84 and they're giving us less players 84 times 5 for the Bundesliga, which I actually think might be a better pack than this 83 times 7. Because again, the number of 83s compared to 84s, that takes out so many players from the player pool. Why are the 84 times 7s really good? Because there's no 83s that are included in them, right? So I think an 84 times 5 for Bundesliga could be really, really good. And I've started to invest a little bit more in some of these Bundesliga cards as we get towards Bundesliga tots. I bought a Delict yesterday at 270, sold it for 317. That was just a quick flip. But I do have some Colaire and I do have some Madsen. Uh, this card, I think, is maybe used in like coin transferring or something suspect because he gets insta sniped at like 40K all the time. Um, but I'm watching the Bundesliga part of the market, especially these lower rated cards that could be very good for the cup. And I think this Madsen card is one that he, maybe he's being invested in a lot. And a lot of people are thinking about this just as I am. But I just think this is a guy that with the the, the cup that's out for Premier League, they're probably going to do it for Bundesliga as well. And uh, this guy for 40,000 coins or just above that, 
you know, he could be a card like Jedi Robinson that goes up 10,000 coins in his 50 to 60K for this cup uh, that would probably come out on Thursday. Then, you know, that's just the type of card that could go up. So he's one of the ones that I've been watching out for. I think you need to watch out for the rest of Bundesliga special cards, but also be careful because, you know, like a guy like Leon Goretzka, it's very possible he could, if he doesn't get in team of the season, because I don't remember if he was in the vote or not, it's very possible he could get a flashback or a Tots moments, right? Um, this Goretzka card, right? A big name. He's almost always in Tots. So that sort of stuff, maybe like Marco Royce would be another name you'd want to be careful with, but somebody like that, people will be looking forward to using some sort of variation of their card during Bundesliga team of the season. So that's kind of the Bundesliga Tots update as of right now. All the leaks that we have right there. Where's Musiala? Where's Boniface? I think we'll see some more leaks today on this game. So watch out for that. Other things to watch out for today on Wednesday. I believe the icon pick is refreshing. Now, speaking of SBCs that are refreshing alongside of that, we have a Team of the Week upgrade pack that is tradable, right? EA, when they released this pack last, I think it was Wednesday of last week, they released it and it says that it expires in 37 days. But the first time they released this two weeks ago, it was out for seven days. Guys, I think EA messed up. I think they meant to release this for a once per week refresh. The SPC goes away and then comes back. But what I think they did is they accidentally put this out and didn't set it to set to refresh every single week because it's out for 37 days, which I think is the exact same amount of time that the 83 plus team of the week player pick is out, but this is unlimited repeatable. I think they messed up on that. So informs, I think are like 50 K or something crazy because so many of them are max price. If I had an inform tradable in my club, I would cash that because I think that they might bring back the team of the week pack today tradable. And that could hurt these prices because of, again, why are these 50k? I don't know. It's so dumb that EA is requiring these and not including the team of the seasons and all of the tots or team of the week requirements. It's annoying, but uh, that's one shout for team of the weeks. I think that could come back today, even though most people wouldn't expect it to be there. Um, and then, of course, the refreshes of all the regular SBCs like we just looked at in there, the 84 7, 83 times 7, and the 85 plus player pick. Worth crafting those every single day. Spend 30 minutes, 45 minutes, get them done because you have a really good chance of packing blues from either of these. And especially, again, the 85 plus player pick. Now, the other things that are outstanding, we've had a player SBC almost every single day. Yesterday's Juan Basaka was a surprise. Are we going to get a mixed league player SBC like we've been thinking is maybe going to happen? We haven't seen one yet. Will we get another WSL player SBC? Who knows, right? We've kind of been going like Prem, WSL, Prem, WSL. We would be on, on deck for a WSL player SBC today or a mixed league potentially. So there could be another surprise in sort of in terms of that and there's still a midfielder evo that we have not seen yet guys so um if there's going to be another evolution to come out um it could be a midfielder specific tots related evo kind of like how we had the tots plus protector there could be something that is midfielder related we'll have to see what comes out on that route today but just kind of keep an eye on the evo section today and really all the hype is for that premier league tots guaranteed Pack. I'm going to craft up a bunch of the Premier League packs after I finish my weekend league games here real quick before that expires. Try to get 11 wins real quick. And then uh, I'm going to craft up a bunch of these so that we can rip them today on stream. Hopefully pack some blues and get Hyun Min Sun. That is who I want. EA, give me him red or give me him from one of these packs. We're crafting for Hyun Min. All right, guys, that's the video for today. Have a great Wednesday. Good luck. We'll be opening these guaranteed tots packs in the stream today. If you want to drop by, that link is down below in the description. And I will see you guys there. It's been Nathan for the Catch you guys later. Peace out.